Julian Fellows' Gilded Age will be returning for a second season. From a Downton Abbey crossover to a shocking number of actors getting promoted to series regulars and even some characters being given an unexpected love and rest, here's why the Gilded Age Season 2 will change everything. Captivating Script The premiere of HBO's historical drama proved to be a huge success. We weren't doubting this since the project comes from one of the most critically acclaimed peer drama creators in the entire history of cinema, Julian Fellows, who is the creator of Downton Abbey as well. While waiting for the release of Downton Abbey 2, fans were lucky enough to be given another really addictive project to binge watch. We've been through a lot of reviews about the series and according to a lot of fans, The Gilded Age is a similar TV show to Downton, with the creator fixing up the mistakes that viewers noticed in his previous projects. Anyway, the series' second installment was given a green light in February 2022, with the story continuing as we see the characters go through all those changes that followed in the 1880s America amid the Gilded Age. For those of you that aren't familiar, this is a historical period of massive economic age for the country. While most TV shows wait longer for a continuation to be granted, The Gilded Age was renewed just two months after season one premiered in January 2022. The plot focuses on Marianne Brooke, a character played by the amazingly talented Louisa Jacobson, as she moves from Pennsylvania to New York City to live with her wealthy aunts played by Cynthia Nixon and Christine Baranski. This is a life-changing decision for her since New York City comes a bit shocking compared to where she was used to living. One of the things about the Gilded Age that excited me most was that I would get to use the training I haven't used in so long because I've played contemporary characters, Baranski told Town & Country in January 2022. Just say the words, Julian Fellows is doing a TV show for HBO, and I mean, okay, sign me up. Since the first installment is a huge success, a continuation was guaranteed, but it appears as if the extremely talented cast ensemble is quite busy with many upcoming projects under their belts which only makes us wonder if we'll again see the already familiar faces that we met in Season 1. Current Status In March, HBO officially revealed that the second season was already in production. The filming locations for the second installment are confirmed as well, with the cast and the crew filming in New York and Rhode Island. The rumors are true. Hashtag Gilded Age HBO has begun production on Season 2. The network's official Twitter shared, adding a photo of Carrie Coon and Morgan Spector in the Russell Mansion, we can't help but say it, the upcoming season looks quite promising. Thankfully, we also have some plot details shared by the one and only Julian Fellows, which he revealed while attending the Gilded Age for your consideration event on May the 24th. The creator told Us Weekly that he's pleased with the way season 2 is shaping up, while adding that some fans might be really disappointed by what they're going to see in future episodes. He further explained that most fans want to see their favorite characters happy, which is, according to him, not possible all the time. As he explains, if he writes a happily ever after storyline for every character in the series, we'll have nothing to watch, adding that he completely understands fans' investment in the characters of the story. Saying this, Fellows fueled many fan-made-up theories regarding the plot and the plot twist for the next season. The writer also said that the fact audiences are so into the series is very rewarding. And since he had enough time to get to know the actors playing in the series a bit better, the new installment will be better. Writing for performances, you're already enjoying and deliberately writing for actors that you now know. I found it that very enjoyable and I was on set today and yesterday and I was really thrilled. Now let's get into some surprising and reliable theories regarding the story in the upcoming episodes. But before we get into details, make sure you smash that like button if you haven't done it already. I know this is right. Just as I know we'll regret delaying when we could have made it happen. A Downton Abbey crossover. We previously mentioned that there are a lot of fans who believe the Gilded Age is quite similar to Downton, claiming that the only difference between the two period dramas is the fact that one is set in England with the other one set in America. Nevertheless, because of these similarities in plot, characters, and even some storylines, fans believe they'll see a crossover soon. The important thing is that Fellows doesn't exclude the possibility. He told Deadline that he'll never say never to a Downton Abbey crossover. Perhaps we'll see some storylines that include Cora's family in Season 2. Who knows? Which Downton character would you want to see included in the next installment? Don't forget to let us know. Plot The first installment gave a detailed conclusion to the storyline with George Russell's problems after a train crash, meaning that we'll see a different focus in the next season. But this doesn't mean that the future episodes won't be influenced by the plot of the first season. In fact, we expect the show to continue right after it left us. We'll see some new storylines as well, with some even more exciting new additions. But is Mrs. Russell content to have a chef from Wichita, Kansas? 
actors promoted to series regulars. 13 actors have been promoted to series regulars for the continuation of the series. We have previously mentioned that it was pretty challenging for the creator to assure that all of the actors he cast in the premiere of the show will return to reprise their roles in the continuation. But according to Deadline, Fellows did it. 11 of the 12 series regulars from the premiere are returning. The only one who we won't see is Thomas Cockrell, who played Tom Rakes. Kayla O'Hara as Socialite Aurora Fane and Donna Murphy as Mrs. Astor were promoted to series regulars. It was confirmed that 11 actors who play the housemaids, butlers, and staff in the show will all get promoted to series regulars. It seems like the show gets more and more like Downton. This would be really fun to see simply because the show will now get deeper into the exploration of two different classes. Do you love me, Marion? As much as I love you? That's what I need to know. A wider world. Not only are so many actors promoted series regulars, but we'll also see a wider world with some promising new additions. Adam Caldwell, one of the casting directors, told Variety that they'll keep casting Broadway actors because it's still a part of the recipe of what they think works because of the talent and the experience, adding that the Gilded Age universe will keep expanding. We might get a little bit more of a glimpse into the black elite world, historical figures pop up too, and it's fun to jump in and play around in the sandbox with everyone. The new installment will introduce Laura Benanti and Robert Sean Leonard as guest stars, along with Christopher Denham, David Furr, Ben Lam, Matilda Lawler, Dakin Matthews, Michael Brauer, Nicole Bryden Bloom, and Rebecca Hayden. Peggy and her son. Ever since the beginning of the series, we all knew that there was something Peggy is hiding. But no, we never expected such a secret to be revealed. The thing is, even she had no idea that the son she had with her husband, Elias Finn, is still alive. We also know that she's now looking for him, which confirms a reunion storyline for future episodes. What do you guys think of this? Ada gets a love interest. Nixon's Aunt Ada is without a doubt one of the fan favorite characters in the Gilded Age. While we saw a potential love interest for her in the previous installment, nothing really happened, and viewers are convinced she'll get involved in a romantic storyline in the future episodes. At least that's what most fans hope to see. On a related note, what are your hopes for The Gilded Age Season 2? Do you guys think that the show deserves to go beyond its second installment? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.